Hey there, boy, and welcome to the little channel on the block. Come here, guys. Coming at you with a day old light. It's like a day old news, but because it was actually revealed yesterday, but expert was broken for me yesterday. I had to fix it. Long, complicated, very boring story. Don't want to talk about it. Now, however, I want. I don't normally do news videos, but I just really wanted to do this one because. There's something I want to talk about, and that is the new Red Dragon Archman. This card is amazing. It's coming out of Dimension of Chaos. And just look at this card's artwork. It is absolutely gorgeous. And all shape and forms. You got Red Dragon Archman with its horn busted off. It looks like it's been through hell. And it's just fucking amazing. And its name is going to be... See, that's the Jeff. Alright, here we go. It's White Dragon Archfiend Scarred White. Which explains why it looks like he's been beat to death on the white side. You know, it's kind of a name twist out. Uh, either way, it's a dragon, is dark, is obviously it's a single, it's an effect. Level 8, and 3000 attack, 2500 defense, which, if I remember right, is actually 500 defense more than the original White Dragon Archfiend. Uh, it's generic, which naturally makes it fucking good. Uh, it's a f it has two effects. One effect is this card, the name is becomes Red Dragon Archfiend when it is face up on the field or in the graveyard. So that should come in the hands if you summon Red Nova Dragon, which Red Nova Dragon is my favorite card of all time. Uh, probably second. Now, nah, it's probably number one. Close second would probably be Magician of Black Chaos, just because of the artwork. Uh, either way, its main effect that you'll probably be using is once per turn, you can destroy all special monsters whose attack is lower than or equal to this card's attack, except this card. It's just good that it's specified that it doesn't destroy itself, so that's nice. And then you inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each destroyed. So, yeah, this card bonds and destroys ma It's like mass destruction plus bond, so... And the artwork is godly amazing. And there's some Red Dragon Archer support, but it's kind of irrelevant. But, like, this card is just overall amazing. Uh, we really want to spend more time on this, but there's not much more to say. And I have other cards I want to talk about. Let's see. And then there is. Assault Black Wing. Kunai the Drizzle? It's canine. Uh, it is dark when you beast effect level 5, 21 attack, 60 defense. Uh, let's see, it has two, two effects. One effect is you can tribute one black wing monster to special summon this card from your hand, but it is treated as a tuna. Okay, that's an interesting thing. I'm not liking that. I don't know. It could be usable, I guess. Uh, once per turn, you can target one synchro monster you control. Change uh, and declare a level between 1 and 8. That monster becomes the particular level. Okay, so it's like if you summon it with its effect, you can put a synchro summon for anything. It's pretty good. And now this, the black wing monster that is the real deal here like this card has pretty cool artwork could be all about but you know it's still way cool artwork and it has an amazing effect it is assault black which i wonder if the assault black wings are gonna make a new black wing thing for this whole anime because i haven't watched the anime yet i haven't watched talk for i've been needing to just have the all on to it when we're busy in i believe its name is I can't pronounce that. Uh, the sub din shower? That's a weird name. Sub din shower? No, no. Yep, you can't wait too well. Some of these cards just have hard names to pronounce, man. Uh, anyway, it is dark. We and beast still have a seven. In fact, uh, 2600 attack, 2000 defense, uh, it's generic, which is cool, but 
kind of a wild thing because you really want to use black wings. Uh, you really want to use it in black wings. I mean, you could use it in other decks and just pop one card, but it really has two effects. Of course, if this card sync with summon using a black wing monster, uh, it becomes a tuna, which is, yeah, whatever. I don't understand that. Maybe there'll be new support coming out of the anime that makes that relevant. But main effect here is once per turn, you can target a number of cards your opponent controls up to the number of car Blackwing monsters you control and destroy them. And this is where this card really shines. So no matter what, it's a plus one. It's a one for one. Like, you need to destroy one. So that's good. But, like, most generally, you only use them Blackwing so you can destroy more than one. And then I'll briefly talk about these other, like, BOS archetypes. All right. This is Galloping Gaia the First Knight. It is a level 7 light warrior type monster uh, effect with 2300 attack points and 2100 defense points. And it actually has 3 effects. You can only use the 3 effects of Galloping Gaia the First Knight once per turn. First effect is you can normally summon this card without tribute. Second effect, if this card was normal summoned without tribute, its attack becomes 1900, which is kind of like a uh, Beast King Barbaros, in a way. Then the third effect is, if this card was tributed, you can add one be a Black Horse Soldier Monster from your deck to your hand, which is actually relevant because there's more than one Black Horse Soldier now that, you know, is relevant to use, but we'll get into that later. Uh, and then we got two other cards here that are more or less like Chibi Black Cluster Soldiers is kind of cool. Uh, starting off, we have Knight of the Beginning, which is a level light warrior type monster with 500 attack and 2000 defense. And pretty much what it does is you. Why is it Okay. Uh, one effect. It'd be a Black Cluster Soldier monster, which one monster? Which one summoned using this card as following effect? Against the following effect. Uh, once per turn, you can target one monster and banish it. And then the other effect is it can attack. Uh, if it destroys a monster, it can attack again. Well, and that's good. And if this card is in your graveyard, you can banish it, and you get a which was spell, which is awesome. And then the twilight, and then we got evening twilight, which is pretty much the same effect as the bigger version of evening twilight. But I'll go over it briefly because this is most. This is the one that you probably won't know of as easily as the original one so we'll go ahead and we'll go over it real quick first once per turn you if it's summoned pretty much if you summon which guy using this card that's tributing you get this effect and it's you can target one monster your opponent controls banish it and then you can all you can use the effect once per turn you can banish one random card face down until the end phase of your opponent's turn and then if this card is in your graveyard you can banish it and add one which one monster uh, from your deck to hand so you see this one adds which are spells and then this one adds which are monsters so if you essentially if you use both of them you can immediately banish both of them to just get another one in now it's pretty cool and then we got black Cluster soldier a uh, supporting black Cluster soldier which is of a warrior earth which will monster effect uh 3000 attack 2500 defense the same as the original one uh, can be which was summoned with the Supreme which uh, spell, uh, Supreme which and Supreme Warrior which was, and you can only special summon Supreme Black Horse of Soldier once per turn, which is interesting because you can't spam it, I guess, whatever. But, you know, that's just how it is. Uh, if this card destroys our opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. And if this card destroys, uh, is destroyed by battle or on opponent's card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon Guy the First Knight monster from your hand or deck or graveyard. So, like, yeah, like I was saying, you can use this and you can search out, like, uh, Galloping Guile. But the thing is, there's other guys, like Swift Guile, which is actually a dock if you don't get that whole thing, like, laying dock guys. And I believe there's exchanging night and day or something like that. That that like a dark guy. I actually look forward to this one. This goes on depth pro. I'll probably be better to deck on this and see if I can tinker with it. Alright, next we got the Supreme Warrior Ritual, which I don't understand why Kuri goes on. I'm not even sure what the hell that is. But I guess probably just because Yugi used them. Uh but you know, well. 
the cool part about the spells is actually uh, you can use you can can be used to withdraw some black hearts of soldier which are monsters so it actually works for the original one too uh, you can only use the effects uh, you can only use the f two effects of supreme withdraw once per turn uh, plus one tribute uh, monsters from your hand or field who you combine level equals eight Especially when black is a soldier, what draw monster from your hand. No big surprise, that's just how it is. And then the second one, you can, this is the one that's better, okay? You can banish one, banish this card from your graveyard, and one light and one dark monster in your graveyard. Especially when black is a soldier monster in your hand, annoying its summoning conditions. You can own, you cannot activate this card, in fact, the turn in the of the graveyard. So, like, this car is really good in the sense it's like very viable and okay here's trash uh, this guy is actually really badass in itself so like i guess i will be building a deck on these but mostly i wanted to make this video so i could talk about the scarred weight red dragon archering it's just like so amazing i'm so happy we can red dragon archering support i mean you guys don't know how happy I am. And another thing that was kind of leaked was, I think it was at the bottom of all of this. Oh, yep, there is. That's how, past it, past it. Okay. It is the Hot Wed Dragon Archmaiden Abyss, which I believe is this card, which is level 9, and we can just kind of get a peak of its defense points, which is 2,500. As soon as we get an effect and confirm the attack, I will be doing a news video on this card. But to then, I probably won't do any news feed. Uh, but yeah. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna get chased right off.